legislation. Questions and comments? The Honourable Member for Ottawa West Nepean. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank the Minister for her very compelling speech and a very, very important piece of legislation. We know that every single person deserves to be in a workplace where they are free from harassment, free from sexual violence, and we as leaders and as a federal government need to be the ones that are leading the way and taking the first steps. As we know, every single woman who comes forward is displaying tremendous courage. It is not an easy thing to do. And how particularly will this legislation, for that woman, perhaps a young woman at the beginning of her career, how will this make it easier for her to be able to stand up, to, to come forward, but then to actually see action coming out of the fact that she had the tremendous courage to speak up? Thank you. The Honourable Minister of Employment. Mr. Speaker, and I think that uh, my honourable colleague raises a very important uh, point that oftentimes those who are victimized are the ones that have uh, often the least experience, who are the most vulnerable in a workplace, who often have the least security and the least power. And so that's exactly what this legislation is meant to address. First of all, to set a framework that does focus on prevention so that all people know what their rights are in a workplace, uh, that there is a strong policy in every federally regulated workplace that gives a clear framework for employees and employers about what the code of conduct is and how to prevent this in the workplace. Secondly, ensuring that there are alternative uh, mechanisms for a person to come forward with their complaint that may be uh, not the employer if the employer is, uh, is the perpetrator. Uh, we've thoughtfully included that because we know that oftentimes, especially in small workplaces, it very well might be the employer who is the perpetrator. So building uh, the uh, obligation of the employer to have a list of alternative people is a critical component in making sure that people come forward. Uh, finally, I think the attention that we've paid to making sure that privacy is protected is another really important piece of the legislation, one that I think were, is worthy of a mention. Many times we heard that people come forward and they uh, are shamed and they are stigmatized for their experiences. They are uh, actually discouraged from moving forward in their career. They may be held back. There may be significant financial consequences. So having a process that ensures that privacy of the victim is critically important. Thank you very much. Questions and comments? The Honourable Member for